Welcome to Harmony Builder Educational. This is a score analysis tool that will allow you to check voice leading errors in four part compositions. A specially designed checker panel provides a color coded system which allows the complete range of rules commonly associated with Baroque counterpoint to be applied to notes and chords as they are entered into the score. It will check for consecutive fifths and octaves, hidden fifths and octaves, allowing for the insertion of specific exceptions to the rule, and four different errors relating to unisons. It will warn you if sevenths and certain fifths are not prepared in the previous chord, if sevenths don't descend, if leading tones don't rise, and if diminished fifths don't descend. It will warn you, with crosses, when notes disrupt the melodic line of a neighboring voice or when they move outside the predetermined range for each part. And finally, it will indicate with brackets when notes move too far apart, exceeding the commonly accepted interval limit. Let's add some chords to the score by using the Control plus A keys. By selecting the boxes in the coloration panel, you can see what role each note plays inside the chord. All roots will be colored brown, all thirds blue, all fifths green, all sevenths red, and all non-bass roots gray. As you nudge notes into different positions during the process of composition, chords will become multicolored only when they are recognized as standard chords. If they are not recognized chords, they will be colored orange. This way, you can easily identify various chord options. Now let's activate all the rule checkers. You can now get instant visual feedback each time a note is nudged into a position that creates a harmonic error. By looking at note coloration and avoiding error marks, you can find the best possible chords for your composition. Once a chord is recognized, extensive information about that chord can be obtained from the nomenclature panel. Information such as its figured bass notation, both in full and shorthand form, its function in the key, its chord symbol, and all the other keys in which that chord is present. Another great advantage of having colored notes is that adding suspensions and appoggiaturas becomes very simple. Since these devices are usually applied to roots, thirds, and non-bass roots, it's easy to identify applicable notes when they are colored brown, blue, and gray. Let me show you an example. First, identify the brown, blue, or gray notes in the selected chord and choose which note you want to add a suspension to, taking into account that it must also be prepared. Next, select that note and split it into two eighth notes. Now nudge the first eighth note up one step to create the suspension and tie this note to the previous note in order to prepare it. Choose another chord and repeat the process. Identify brown, blue, and gray notes. Select one of them. Split it into two eighth notes. Nudge the first note up and add the tie. Let's listen to the final result. Another thing to notice is that when passing notes are introduced into the score, the rule checkers will detect any new errors introduced by the passing note. For an in-depth description of the rules and their origin, a list of the standard chords recognized by the program, and detailed descriptions of all the features of the program, please refer to the Harmony Builder Educational User Manual, available by clicking on Help, user manual online. 
Also, please note that many of the basic navigation features are described in the Harmony Builder Basic product video, available in the video section of the Musilogic website. I hope you enjoy creating error-free compositions. Thank you for watching.